Today I'm going to show you guys how I make my reversible bucket hats. It's really easy, anyone can do it. So let's get started. For this tutorial you're going to need an 8x8 circle, a 12x4 rectangle, and a 12 by 4.5 kind of curved rectangle. You will also need two different types of fabric, whichever you like. So to start, you're just gonna take your circle and place it and pin it onto your fabric. And once you have it pinned in place, you're gonna go ahead and cut the fabric out around the circle. And the point of pinning the circle down is so that when you're cutting, you can make sure you cut out the exact measurements you don't want your pattern to be moving all over the place. Now it's time to cut the rectangle out. For this one, you're gonna need two rectangles, so instead of cutting the pattern out two separate times I just doubled my fabric so you just fold your fabric in half and then pin the pattern in place and cut it out so that I'll have two rectangle pieces when I'm done You're also going to need two pieces of this kind of curvy rectangle and this piece is actually for the brim so I just did the same thing, folded my fabric, pinned the pattern in place, and then cut out so that when I'm done, I will have two pieces for my brim. And once I'm done doing this on the denim, I'm going to do the same thing on the other fabric that you saw. So I'm going to cut one circle, two rectangles, and two brim pieces on the other fabric as well. And this is what you'll be left with. Now I'm going to place my rectangle piece and my brim piece right sides together and that means the side that will be showing on the hat you want to kind of sandwich those two together and then you're just going to sew a straight seam down both sides and you're going to do that for both the rectangle and the brim piece. And then you're going to repeat those same exact steps for the other fabric. Now it's time to start sewing and you want to start every stitch and end every stitch with a back stitch and for those of you who are not sure what that is it's just like a reverse stitch. There's a lever on every machine and you just pull it down and it'll reverse the needle and the way that the stitch is going. So once you have sewn both of your rectangle pieces and your brim pieces together you will have had a total of eight straight stitches and now you will have four pieces of fabric. Here are my two different rectangle pieces all sewn together and now I'm going to go ahead and start pinning the rectangle piece to the circle piece. So I grab my denim rectangles and my denim circle and I'm just going to pin the rectangle pieces all the way around the circle. Then I'm going to repeat that step on the other fabric. Don't get discouraged if you're not able to pin the circle to the rectangles right the first time. I rarely get it on the first time. It usually takes me a couple of tries, but just keep pinning and adjusting your fabric and you'll get it right. Now 
it's time to sew all the areas that you pin so it's just going to be another straight stitch and when you're pinning be sure to pin with the balls facing towards you as you'll see when I get on the sewing machine it's a lot easier to pull the pins out when they're coming towards you if I put them in the opposite direction it would be a complete hassle and also pin with the majority of your fabric to the left because if you do it to the right that kind of gets in the way of the sewing machine always remember to start with a back stitch and here you're gonna see me pulling the pins out now if I would have pinned them the opposite direction my hand would have been kind of going under the sewing machine every time and just getting in the way and also you see the fabric just kind of hangs off the side nicely instead of being underneath the sewing machine on the other side So here is one of the two all stitched up Now I'm just going to go ahead and grab my matching brim piece and I'm going to open up this seam and I'm going to match it to the seam on the rectangle piece and then I'm going to pin it and then I'm going to flip the hat over and do the same thing to the other side so matching the seams up. When you're done with that you can go ahead and pin the sides together and then it's time to go back to the sewing machine and we're just going to do another straight stitch when we get there and make sure that you are doing this to both of your hats so I'm just showing one but you need to do it to both of them. separate hats and you're just going to want to flip one inside out and then place it on top of the other hat and then once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and match the seams again pin those in place and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side so now you're going to sew both of the hats together but you don't want to sew all the way around you just want to sew from one end of the pin all the way around and stop at the other end of the pin. So here you see the hat completely sewn together and the reason we didn't sew all the way around is because that's how we turn the hat inside out. So you just want to go ahead and flip the hat right side out actually not inside out. <laughs> Now you can tuck one hat into the other and then you want to go ahead and start to crease and press the edge of the brim so that it's nice and flat and then you can tuck in that excess fabric from the opening and then I'm going to go ahead and iron that flat and then after I iron I'm going to place a pin on the opening to hold it in place so that it doesn't move when I sew and then I'm going to iron the remainder of the brim. Once you're done ironing, you'll have a nice and flat pressed brim and this will make sewing around the brim a lot easier. So once you're done with that, you're just going to take it to your sewing machine and I like to start on one of the side seams and I'm just going to go ahead and back stitch and I'm going to sew all the way around the brim as close to the edge as possible making sure that I lock under the fabric 
that was open from the hole that we used to push the hat through itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch all the way around and when I make it back to where I started, I'm just gonna continue sewing over that seam and back stitch a couple times. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and sew around the brim about four or five more times. And I like to line up the previous stitch to the side of the presser foot so I know that the spacing between the stitches is pretty much even every time. So that's basically it guys. I hope this was easy enough for everyone to follow. Please let me know if you make one of your own. Tag me on Instagram or just send me a picture. Be sure to check the description box for more information. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks so much for watching.